Built in the 1980s, a three-story block of terrace industrial units in Kelang Way is the last of its kind in Singapore, representative of JTC Corporation's industrial architectural history. In the coming years, the block in Kolam Air Industrial Estate will be given a new lease of life with shops, food and beverage, and entertainment outlets, as well as health and fitness establishments being among possible uses for the retained block. On June 25, JTC launched a tender for a 4.41 hectares site in Kelang Way, where a multi-user food manufacturing factory is to be built alongside the retained block. This is JTC's first industrial government land sales IGLS tender that includes a requirement for the successful tenderer to reuse an old building. JTC said the retained terrace showroom building is unique as it has a purpose-built showroom space facing the road which previous occupants used to display their goods to potential customers. The block's ground floor will have to be used for retail purposes adding to the amenities available to existing residents and students in the area. The successful tenderer for the site will be required to retain the building's key architectural features, such as its protruding solar fins. The building has a gross floor area GFA of about 5,600 SQM. Ms. Tang C.L. Ling, Director of JTC's Urban Planning and Architecture Division, said that with the current push for environmental sustainability, private sector companies are looking for opportunities to develop in a more environmentally friendly manner, a need that the agency hopes to meet through the tender. She said JTC hopes the Kalangway tender will demonstrate interest in adaptive reuse opportunities and pave the way for similar projects in future. The agency between 2020 and 2021 held a competition calling for ideas on how to reuse existing industrial buildings in Ishuan and Kalankolam Air. Adaptive reuse, or the practice of reusing old buildings for new functions, is among the strategies to curb carbon emissions in the built environment sector. Reusing existing buildings is generally thought to be more environmentally friendly than redevelopment. As fewer new developments have to be built and less carbon is released into the atmosphere as a result. JTC said it selects sites for adaptive reuse based on whether social, environmental and economic objectives can be met. In the case of the Kalangwe site, besides lowering the release of embodied carbon, the addition of retail amenities will meet the needs of existing residents and students in the area said the agency. Given that bidders for the site will have to work the retention of the terrace showroom building into their plans, which differs from typical tenders where developers bid for an empty plot of land. JTC has made several provisions for the tender to be economically viable. First, the site will be awarded on a 32-year lease. Other IGLS sites typically have 20 or 30-year tenures. This allows the successful tenderer additional time to optimize the use of the site, assess the retained building conditions, develop comprehensive plans for the adaptive reuse works and obtain the necessary clearances of the relevant authorities, said JTC. Second, the sales site, at 4.41 hectares, was made sufficiently large so that a new multi-user food factory can be built alongside the retained block allowing the winning developer to optimize the plot's development and economic potential. The site has a gross plot ratio of 2.5 and a GFA of 114,239 SQM. In comparison, the two most recently awarded sites for food manufacturing, in Mandai and Tours, had GFAs of 17. 228 SQM and 9,873.6 SQM respectively. They were awarded in 2013. Ten rows of terrace workshops in Kelang Way, built in the late 1970s, were cleared to create the tender site. JTC said these buildings 
were not earmarked for reuse, as they were in poor condition and the land they occupied was needed for higher intensity developments. The 10 rows were demolished from the late 2010s and the future food factory building will stand in their place. Third, the developer will be allowed to include a maximum of 3,500 SQM of space for retail uses, which are typically more profitable than industrial space. JTC said retail spaces will have to be spread over the entire first floor of the retained terrace showroom block as well as on parts of the new factory building that face Pelton Cornell, a minimum of 1. 000 SQM of the allotted retail space will have to be on the ground floor of the factory building. Architect Melvin Tan, president of the Singapore Institute of Architects, said the retained block is strategically positioned among mature estates. The Pelton Cornell and the bustling Algenate Road and hence has the potential to be revitalized with spaces that enhance community activity. Ms. Tricia Song, CBRE's Head of Research for Singapore and Southeast Asia, said that even with the longer-than-usual lease period for the site, potential bidders may still be conservative with their bids, given the scale and size of the Kalangwe parcel. She added that they may mitigate risks by forming a consortium or joint venture to tender. Noting that no IGLS food sites have been awarded in about a decade, Ms Song said there should be some pent-up demand for multi-user food manufacturing facilities among developers. She said demand for food factories has increased in recent years, due in part to stronger demand for food delivery services, since the COVID-19 pandemic. Private developers have moved quickly to meet this demand through recent projects such as CT Food Chain. Food Fab at Mandai and Citroen Foodland at 33 Kim Chuan, she added. Riding on increasing demand, established developers are likely to be keen on the Kalangwe site, she said, noting that its relatively central location adds to its appeal. The tender for the Kalangwe site closes at 11 a.m. on September 3rd. JTC on June 25th also launched a site in Tukong Innovation Drive that is on its reserve list of IGLS sites for application. The 0.7 hectares site, which has a GFA of 17,386 SQM, will be leased on a 20-year tenure.